to be making Grandma's salsa, which she taught me. We're gonna be using a cast iron skillet. I'm sure that you can use a regular pan if that's all you have. We'll we use half an onion, half of a, a medium onion, or maybe a small onion, a couple of cloves of garlic. Right now we have about six of them. So half a, half a head of garlic. We have two small Roma tomatoes, 10, serrano chilies if you like this is it would be considered spicy um if you want it less spicy you could use less of the chilies or you could even use jalapenos and then we're going to be using half a can of tomato sauce this is eight ounces so it's going to be about four ounces and then just some salt and some water we're going to use about a medium flame, depending on your stove. And so that's all it is. You just put everything on there so it, it makes contact with the cast iron skillet. And we're just going to roast everything till it's nice and brown. We're going to be turning, you know, the tomatoes and the chilies every once in a while. Okay, so these have been on the fire for about five minutes. They are popping. You can hear them sizzling. And we're just going to be turning everything uh, depending on the size of your pan and the amount of things you have. You, could, you might need to turn them one or two times. But we'll come back when everything's all nice and golden and brown. All right, so some things will brown faster than others, like the little garlics. So we had to pull them off a little earlier, but as you can see, the green from the chilies is not so vibrant anymore. And sometimes the tomatoes might take longer to cook than the chilies, and so I'll have to pull the chilies off before the tomatoes are ready but this is what we kind of want all around we want everything to be kind of golden and roasted sometimes i pull the onions apart so that they can you know cook a little bit more evenly all right so we're going to use this little ninja cup and you can use a regular blender. Since it's kind of small, I have to do two. I'm gonna put some of these chilies in. I put the salt in here already, about a teaspoon of salt. Put it inside and I'm gonna go get some I'm going to put about a quarter of a cup of water in, and then we're going to blend it. Alright, so there's the chilies. Now we're going to do the tomato sauce. Just kind of eyeball it. Half a can. I'm going to add a little water over here. Add the rest of the ingredients. And uh, you want to get all that roasted skin because that's what makes it look really pretty. All that blackened yumminess. Try to get as much as you can. So it's up to you how smooth you want your salsa. Some people like it really saucy and liquidy and other people like it a little chunkier. So it depends on you how much you want to blend it. But after you put it in there, you don't want to shake it 
all up. And show you just kind of the end result. A nice so chunky salsa. If you want it less chunky, blend it less. If you want it more smooth, you can blend it more. 